What is happening, everybody? I'm back, you're back, we are all back. And tonight we've got a bit more of a special treat. As I have been teaching my guru, KJ Choi, winner of the 2009 US Open, to see what he can do in matches. And I'm leaving him alone with somebody who's been playing this a little bit more than he has in their off time, but not with my direction. So, we have tonight a presentation for you KJ Choi versus Rebel TV coming up on Rocket League in just a moment. I am the party leader, so I'm going to have to be the one to create the match. So, how do you. How do you. What the. Create private match. Team size. Now it's 2v2 is the minimum. So I'm just going to have to sit out and spec, I think. Let's see, party only, team settings, mutator settings, we're good. We always do this at Beckwith Park, though, so we're going to do somewhere else. Just to make the redneck feel a little bit more at home, we're going to do it at Farmstead. Of course, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to keep my goddamn cigarette lit. Alright, so we are here. Sock car, Farmstead, 2v2. We're not going to freaking screw around with anything else. Creating match... And I will be your announcer for the session. <clears throat> I want to see how these two do against each other. I am spectating, so we're going to spectate. There we go. Wait for these guys to come in on 1v1. Rebel Walkers on blue. KJ Choi is setting up on the orange team. Let's see how this goes. I don't know how to use director mode on this setting. There we go, Rebel Walker with the ball, keeping it out of the hands of KJ Choi, just barely. So, you know, is there a way... Okay, there we go. KJ Choi batting it towards Rebel Walker's goal. He's sort of just playing uh, cat and mouse with him here. KJ Choi in with a good setup, taking a very fundamental shot here and just sends it straight into the goal on Rebel Walker. There is the replay there. Setting up, we've got KJ Choi coming in for the early shot, straight into the goal on Rebel Walker. He has definitely been learning his fundamentals here. Of course, Earl Walker looks like he used a little bit more brushing up in these days. Coming up, let's see if Rebel Walker can actually get to the ball first this time. No, just leaving it for KJ Toy to take another easy shot straight at the goal. It's almost like he's not even trying tonight, Kent. Another lineup between these two titans of Rocket League supremacy. Again, Rebel Walker not coming in for the shot when he should and just staying back. Off the crossbar, KJ Choi is ready to return the ball straight into the goal. Walking it off the side a bit, Rebel Walker is able to corner it. Rebel Walker running some circles around the ball here. Not quite sure how he's going to make the strike running down the sideline. KJ Choi able to deflect the ball, but only in front of his own goal. Rebel Walker set up for a good shot right here. Unable to capitalize on it, though. KJ Choi sending the ball back to midfield. KJ Choi on the ball and just making it look easy right there. That was completely insane. We've got the replay right here. Just sending it down. Rebel Walker is absolutely no task for him whatsoever. Here we go with the corner shot. K. 
KJ Choi sending it back to the center with a certain prowess. Almost able to make the quick, easy shot. Rebel Walker back in control of the ball here. Actually may have control of it for a minute. He's able to juke it past KJ Choi and line himself up with the shot. Can he get back to it? No, not in time. KJ Choi with a quick, easy punt downfield. Sends it straight in front of the goal off the side post. Rebel Walker trying to get a sight on the ball, giving KJ Choi a little bit too much time. Rebel Walker again trying to circle back for a turbo that he didn't even need at that moment. That did not look good. KJ Choi in with a nice punt. Rebel Walker just not taking the shots that he needs to take, rushing in. He's just sitting back a little bit too far and trying to contemplate a bit too much, getting a lineup and leaving a huge opening right here for KJ Choi to... Oh! Rebel Walker with a block, but still unable to stop the ball from rolling its way into the goal. Rebel Walker with a nice easy mistake right there, letting KJ Choi capitalize. Here they go, headed in. Rebel Walker still sitting a bit too far back and just waiting for the ball to come to him. He's just playing this shot wrong every single time. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, Ken. That is just the way it's going. Rebel Walker waiting again. Just allowing his opponent to crush him into the dirt with no effort whatsoever. Rebel Walker just sitting back. He needs to use more boost and launch himself into the ball. He's not doing it, though. It's really taking a toll on his strategy right now. Again, Rebel Walker just sitting back thinking that he's going to wait for the ball to come to him. It's really disappointing to see this. He's just not playing the thing situationally. He's just waiting for it to come to him, and it's just going straight over his head every time. This is actually quite hard to watch, Kent. Again, KJ Choi sending the ball right into the goal. Rebel Walker sitting back and not taking advantage of the shot. He's just sitting there holding his boost, and, and uh, for what reason, I don't know. This is a hard one to explain, Kent. Here we go, Rebel Walker just driving into it again with no boost whatsoever on the strike shot. Driving straight under the ball, Rebel Walker comes around and waffles a bit. KJ Choi sending the ball straight past Rebel Walker's goal. Rebel Walker has a chance to recover here, but he's in reverse. Unable to make any punt downfield. KJ Choi taking control of the ball and sending it straight into the goal. I am absolutely almost feeling bad about this matchup. I, I thought I taught KJ Choi some things, but Jesus, he really knows what he's doing now, and Rebel Walker is at a complete disadvantage because he has not had the training that KJ Choi has had. Again, missing the shot every single time, Rebel Walker refuses to use his boots to move into the ball in a timely manner. leaving the shot open for KJ Choi every single time. This is just an intense lineup here. I can't believe that KJ Choi has made so many goals in a row off the crossbar. He can go up for an aerial on this one. Taking the time, waiting for the ball to come back, still able to make the goal near effortlessly. I, again, almost feel bad for setting up this lineup. I thought Rebel Walker had actually developed a few more skills, but apparently the teaching from the guru of Chunk TV toward KJ Choi has been so much of an advantage that he is crushing the opposition right now. Rebel Walker still sitting back on the, the initial shot, KJ Choi realizing that he can just plop the thing in without even trying now. This is absolutely embarrassing for Rebel Walker. I, I, 
again, I feel bad, to be honest, because this is absolutely insane. I can't believe he scored so many shots in a row on this match. KJ Choi rushing in with the shot, sending it straight towards the goal. He knows where the goal is on that first shot. He knows right where to put the thing and, and gets it every single time. It's absolutely insane. Rebel Walker just unable to get to the ball every single time because he's not using boost. This is absolutely a detriment towards your game. You need to boost into that ball or play it in a specific way. Otherwise, you're going to wind up in this position where you're getting the ball put into your goal every single time. And, and it's it, this is insane. I have never seen anything like this, to be honest. These guys should have nest, like essentially a near equal lineup. The only difference is the KJ Choi has direct teaching from the guru, Chunk TV, here. And just every single time he's putting the ball where it needs to go, Rebel Walker is not paying attention or trying anything different. He's like going by the opposite of the Benjamin Franklin standard. He is completely insane because he's trying the same thing time and time again. Another lineup with KJ Choi just making a straight punt right into the goal. I don't even need to. I don't even feel like I need to call this anymore. We're going to see this time and time again from KJ Choi, putting the ball where it needs to go. He knows where the ball needs to go, but Rebel Walker just cannot get to the thing. He can't get to the thing in time because he's not using boost. Embarrassing. I, I am absolutely embarrassed for Rebel Walker right now, and I feel. I feel for him right now. He's just not taking the advantages. He's not taking the chances that he needs to take in order to put the ball somewhere downfield. Every single time, he keeps getting hit with this shot over and over again. It's, gonna, it's just going to keep happening because he won't send himself into the ball. We're going to see probably 25 or 30 to nothing in this match if, if Rebel Walker cannot recover. Making a quick tackle against each other, KJ Choi and Rebel Walker heading back downfield towards the orange goal right now. KJ Choi seeming to play it a little bit easier on the opposition because he almost seems to feel bad for what he's doing right now. Again, straight up shot right in front of the goal, ready for KJ Choi to send it into the pocket. Just sort of playing it a little bit easier because he knows Rebel Walker is not able to get the ball where it needs to go. I would almost think that Rebel Walker is playing on keyboard right now because this is just not happening for him. Just exactly where the ball needs to be. Rebel Walker unable to compensate for what he's facing against his opposition. Rebel Walker actually making a launch into the ball, almost making an attempt at boosting into it. He almost had a shot, and it got KJ Choi crossed up enough to send the ball off to the other side of the field. Back lined up in front of the center. KJ Choi is able to return the ball just into the other corner, not where he wanted to go, right into the goal. Rebel Walker trying to make an attempt and sending the ball into his own goal right in front of KJ Choi. Unable to keep to keep control of the ball. Rebel Walker just has no idea where he's hitting the thing right now. Moving into the last 30 seconds of the match, we make a punt straight into the goal off the crossbar. Lined up for KJ Choi to take another strike. And it's there. Rebel Walker is unable to make a return back and get back to the ball and send it back downfield. He had an opening for a couple of seconds there, but clearly not taking the time to take it seriously enough. Into the lineup. Rebel Walker not quite getting in front of the ball enough. KJ Choi able to get the ball downfield, but not lined up perfectly. Rebel Walker has a chance to send the ball downfield. He moves a little bit late behind the ball. KJ Choi lined up and sending the ball into the corner around the goal. Not quite able to make the strike, taking a bit too much time to contemplate it, but he's lined up here and making a final goal, coming in at 23 to nothing at the last three seconds. Now, is KJ Choi going to be able to make the shot for the punt right here on the kickoff and make another devastating goal in this match, which has been completely one-sided?
KJ Choi with the punt, sending the ball downfield. Is it going in? He makes the score at the last second, making this 24 to nothing at the buzzer. And I have to say, this was hard to watch. Although, at least we understand that the guru, Chunk TV, has been able to teach his Padawan, KJ Choi. Now it seems like Rebel Walker could use a little bit more of a tutorial in actually mastering these matches. This is this is hard to see here with this final score of 24 to nothing and a point value of 2225 to 90 against. Thank you for watching everybody. This has been Chunk TV hosting and announcing for a KJ Choi versus Rebel Walker match. We're going to have another one of these again soon. Hopefully it will be a little bit more even and less one-sided. We're going to have to give Rebel Walker a little bit more of a tutorial to teach him a little bit. But this was an epic match for KJ Choi, showing that he knows what he's learned. We just need to teach Rebel Walker now. This is Chunk TV signing off as the guru. Peace out, everybody.